know y'all saw how smooth I came walking into the frame. Um, what's up, man? It's your big brother, K Reno. And uh, I wanted to discuss something that's been swirling around in the news um, lately. And it was a topic that was going on probably three, four years back, I'm assuming. And that is the Washington Redskins changing the name of their team hasn't happened yet but a few years back the owner Dan Snyder was being uh, pressured to change the name from the Redskins because of course that name is very offensive to the Native Americans but back at that in that time Dan Snyder said nope not changing the name I don't care how offensive it is to the people we're gonna continue to call the team the Redskins matters if it's offensive and so fast forward to 2020, now in this social climate with uh, racial tension and the police brutality and all the different things going on now, the pressure has ramped up from sponsors and from political interests and they are now putting more weight and in, in, in forcing the hand of, of Mr. Snyder a little more to try to get him to change that name. And it's looking like he may be starting to lean towards doing so. Um, but I wanna say this, I wanna make it understood, my view, and y'all are welcome to post y'all's views, whatever you think in the comments. But what we have to understand as black people and as Native American people, and as Latino people who have all been um, oppressed in this country at some point, what we got to understand is this. When we see statues being taken down, when we see Confederate flags being taken down, when we see offensive team names being changed and, and potentially um, removed, we can't fall for the trick of celeb and celebrate these little victories. I understand that we view it as progress based on our history and the things that we've gone through, but what we gotta know is that tearing down a statue, removing a flag, changing a team name, those things do not alter the mindset of any individual who is a racist who is a white supremacist, that's not gonna change their mind. You could tear those things down all day long, but in, 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 if that, that mindset is not being torn down, it still exists. So the symbols are not there, but the thought process is still there. We gotta understand that and we can't waste our energies feeling like there's been a victory. Also, we gotta know that these moves are not being made because of some magical change of heart or some magic dust was sprinkled on the, the minds of, of, of these Democrats and Republicans who have never had any love for you. And all of a sudden they've decided to see the error of their ways. No, these are moves to pacify in the midst of political season, politics season, election season. And these folks are trying their best to do whatever they feel necessary to round up and, and, and get your votes and get your support. So it's a political move, but it's also an economic move because even in the case of Dan Snyder and the Washington Redskins, sponsors are starting to come in now and apply pressure because they see the potential of their bottom line taking a hit and when that starts to happen you'll probably see the name change even though Dan Snyder doesn't want to change the name and the sponsors who have backed everything from um, police forces who commit acts of racial uh, racial profiling police brutality all the way to supporting prisons, the prisons. So 
they don't care either about the name. They're just like, look, man, it's not about the name. It's about our money. And at the end of the day, that's what this is all about. So we can't celebrate those little um, victories and feel like we've accomplished something. See, at the end of the day, this is their history. They, they are proud of that history. They're proud of those men who they've taken time to build these statues and monuments in honor of. They don't care about the other side of that to where, okay, during the time these men were ruling and they, during the time that these men were establishing whatever they were establishing, they were establishing it being as it was being powered by the institution of slavery. They were establishing it while snatching the land from the Native Americans. This is history. So we can't get caught up in that. We have to focus and channel our energies in a different direction and work on establishing and building our own. Because for the NFL, you better hope you have a season. See, this pestilence called coronavirus, it's throwing a monkey wrench in the whole game all around the world. You better hope that you have a season. So leave your comments. Tell me what y'all think. If that's something I left out, feel free to let us know because um, there's a lot to uh, consider in these times. And we live in a world where those of us who have a history of being oppressed and being um, disenfranchised and disrespected, we're always asked to forget about our history. Always asked to forget about our history, but outrage takes place at the very, at the slightest thought of a challenge to an oppressive history that's been applied and forced upon us. So it's, there's a hypocrisy there. But the way to not even have to deal with it is to remove ourselves from it. And it won't be a clean move as far as America is concerned because look, there's been a bill that's been run up. <laughs> a nice sized bill has been run up so you don't get to just get us out the way clean. It doesn't work like that. So changing the name of the Redskins is on the table. It may happen. But in closing, I just want y'all to consider something else. Even if they do change the name, don't be silly enough to think that there needs to be some kind of parade. Because actually, change, changing the name is only half of it. Still doesn't really accomplish anything because the name of the team is the Washington Redskins. Who is Washington? The city's named after George Washington. And that cat owned about 300 slaves. So if that's the case, you, you gotta change the name of the whole city. See? I live in, I live in Houston, Texas. Named after Sam Houston. We gotta change the name. See? Render under Caesar what is Caesar's, man. It's nonsense. Like, comment, and subscribe. Tell me what you think. I'll hit y'all with another one soon. Peace.